Watermarks are a fantastic way to protect your content, increase brand awareness, and make your videos look much more professional. However, many company logos don't work very well as a watermark. Logos that use background colours or gradients can often look washed out when used as a watermark. This means your videos can end up looking unprofessional, which in turn can tarnish your brand. To create a professional looking watermark, you'd usually need to use expensive image editing software that can cost hundreds of dollars a year. But in this video, I'll show you how to transform your logo into a professional watermark in just a few minutes using free online tools. And best of all, this works even if you're not a designer and have never used image editing software before. The best way to show you how this process works is to use a real world example. Here you can see the logo of the Frankston Arts Centre, which is a theatre venue in Australia. As you can see, the logo makes good use of background colour and gradients. This makes for an effective logo, however, if you were to use this logo directly as a watermark, it would look like this. If the logo is not transparent, it tends to attract too much attention. On the other hand, if I make it transparent, it looks washed out. So let's now take a look at how we can transform this logo into an effective watermark. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the free online image editor, pixelart.com. To get started, I'll scroll down here and you'll see that I have two options. You can select to use the Pixelart Editor or Pixelart Express. To create an effective watermark, you'll need to use the Pixelart Editor, so I'll just select this option over here. OK, now the first step is to upload my logo from my computer. So I'll select Open Image from Computer and I'll find our example logo and click Open. Now once you've uploaded your logo, the next step is to select the One tool over here. This tool allows you to select areas of the screen that are a similar colour. So now I can click on the areas that I would like to keep for my watermark. For example, I'll click on this red circle to select it. Now I'd also like to keep the text, so what I can do is hold down the Shift key and then click on each letter to add them to my selection. This requires a little bit of care, but is very easy to do. OK, there we go. I've now selected the red circle and each of the letters in my logo. The next step is to unlock my background layer so that I can make changes to it. To unlock the background layer, all I have to do is double click this padlock icon. OK, now that the background layer is unlocked, I can now convert my selection into a mask by clicking this Add Layer Mask icon. As you can see, I've now eliminated all the background colour and gradient from my logo. The next step is to convert this into a black and white image. To do this, all I have to do is go up here to the Adjustment drop-down box and select Desaturate. There we go, I've now eliminated all the colour from the logo. Now the final step is to convert this into an all white watermark. To do this, all I have to do is go back to the adjustment menu and this time I'll select Hue and Saturation. This opens the Hue and Saturation window. What I need to do here is set each of these values to 100. So Hue to 100, Saturation to 100 and Lightness to 100. Then I can click OK. Now I can simply save my new watermark to my computer. So I'll choose File, Save. I can then change my file name. And here I need to make sure that I have selected PNG Transparent Full Quality. Then I can click OK and Save. Now let me show you what this new watermark looks like in Content Samurai. So here's a video I've created for the Frankston Art Centre. All I have to do is edit my video and then go to the Preview tab. Now I can click the Watermark tab. And here I can create a new watermark. All I have to do is click the Create New Watermark button. Then I'll give my watermark a name. For this example, I'll call it FAC for Frankston Art Centre. 
Next, I can click the Upload Image button and find the white logo file that I just downloaded from pixelart.com. I can then change the scale of the watermark using this slider, so I'll just make it a little smaller. And I can change the opacity using this slider. Finally, I can simply click and drag my watermark into position. Then I can click Save Watermark and I'm all done. Let's take a quick look at the finished product. Become a member of Frankston Art Centre today and you get up to 18 months of value. It's your theatre. For only $60, you can enjoy special offers, special events and VIP treatment. You'll love the discounts to all our FAC program shows and many other nominated shows. Be a guest at our launch. So there you have it. You now know how to transform a regular logo image into a professional and effective watermark. If you're already a Content Samurai subscriber, the new watermarking feature is already live and ready for you to use. If you don't have a copy of Content Samurai yet, or it's been a while since you tried Content Samurai last, just click the button below to grab a free 7 day trial and take the new watermarking feature for a test drive. Bye for now.